Hello, everybody. Salty Walty is back, and uh, here's my... I have the uh, Barzan. This is the level 2 version, and uh, this is essentially your ranged version of the Mark II. Uh, at level 1, I'm pretty sure it's... or is it level 2? I don't know. I can't remember wh which, but it's got like 40 ranged correction, so it's, it can hurt really... Uh, hurt decently in ranged. Um, as you can see in this match, you're going to notice that it does, like, okay, so it can't really do a whole lot of damage in melee. Even with a downswing on a uh, general type, you're really only going to do around 1,800 damage, which really isn't nothing. Uh, a lot of the Barzams I've fought, I actually run the Mark II rifle, and I I see why. Because it, uh, it does have six shots, but I feel like the Barzam rifle is still a better choice for this mobile suit. The uh, rifle doesn't have too long of a charge time. It can rapid fire router well, and its beam uh, velocity is insanely quick. Um, which is something something I'm not used to, because it's the same speed as like the Gunner Gunnam's beam rifle, so it really throws me off when it comes to rapid fire aiming like, like that, what I was doing, and I missed like all my shots, because I was aiming like if it was a standard beam rifle, I was aiming where he would have been if it was a standard beam rifle shot, but these, these, the beams on this gun travel a lot quicker, so I ended up missing. So, uh, it's... It, this is a suit that I'm definitely ta uh, practicing because I do enjoy have, uh, playing it. It's actually a really fun suit. Uh, it's just, it's kind of thrown me off with the v beam velocity on its rif uh, uh, beam rifle. It also has access to the Mark II's uh, shrapnel bazooka and its standard bazooka, which I do not have yet. I have the shrapnel gun, and I haven't, I've, uh, I've ran the Barzam with the shrapnel bazooka, and I was relatively hitting targets for around uh, 22 to 24,000 damage. And that's not bad. Uh, but you kind of want to keep with the beams because I feel like the beam... And plus, a Barzan with a bazooka is ugly as sin. Whoever thought like, ugh. I mean, yeah, I know the Barzan is essentially a mass production Mark II. But god damn, does this suit look ugly with a fucking bazooka. Ugh, that's v ugly, man. But uh, otherwise, the Barzam is really decent. It's not spectacular, but it's decent. Uh, there's other generals at its cost that it can that'll uh, can do other things a little bit better. But this suit is definitely it's definitely there, uh, and it's not bad. It's just decent. Uh, it's got the Mark II's head uh, Vulcan pods, which really ramp up the uh, DPS on it. Because those uh, head Vulcans are really good. So that's r a big plus to that. Um, I was going to post the all Bishop match, but I'm having trouble f co uh, adding commentary to that video. So I actually might not post that video. So sorry for anyone who wa really wanted to see that. I'm just having trouble adding commentary to that one and I don't want to give out dull commentary for a video that might it's actually not even that fun it wasn't even a uh, that a fun of a match really uh, so I'm just I'm just trying hard to think of commentary to add on it and I'm failing uh, if I can figure out how to uh, some if I can find a decent uh, song to put over it, a uh, non-copyright song, uh, I might do that, do it that way and just upload it that way because it still has background chatter from the party chat, and I don't, like, that's not fun, so, but yeah, uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a fun, it's a good suit, I like it, uh, it does throw me off that it does have the, ac uh, it does have the Zaku downswing to it, you know, the ho whole downward slash with it. That kind of throws me off because all the other swings it has are uh, fed, uh, Federation. So when it has the downward swing that it does, it really threw me off. And uh, I kind of miss with it because I'm expecting the uh, I'm expecting the Federation downswing most of the time and it just really uh, screws with me. I don't know how I didn't get that kill. I should have had it, but oh well. 
But otherwise, it's uh, pretty decent. Don't do what I'm doing. Try not to get into melee with this. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. The melee, they really made the melee uh, weak on this suit. If you, uh, my colors, if you guys didn't know, are based off the Mars Xeon uh, Barzam. And uh, I got these from Jacob. And they look really neat, if you ask me. They look pretty decent on this mobile suit. Uh, I like the way it turned out, to be honest. I'm fucking Isaac, man. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's very good for what it does if you want to stay at range. Uh, again, I've had more luck with its rifle over the Mark II's rifle. It can do, it can run the Mark II rifle, but then you're kind of like losing out on its uh, ability to run and gun with this rifle because the Mark II's rifle, you can't just keep snapshotting like you can with this. So. Uh, anyone who's running it and hasn't really given this rifle a try, give it another go. You, uh, you might be surprised. I have a lot of fun with the Barzam rifle. Uh, it's also got a really, really dumb high kick for a counter. Watch this shit. He hikes that leg up in there. Oh, right in the face. Uh, you can see that those Vulcan pods doing some massive damage. Really enjoy this mobile suit. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good week. Tonight we're getting a new mobile suit. Today is Wednesday, yes. I'm pretty sure today is Wednesday. But, uh, yeah, we're getting a new mobile suit tonight. I wonder, hope, uh, I kind of hope we get, uh, another monthly mission. They really need to add more monthly missions because we're still missing quite a bit of mobile suits from the first game. Still waiting on my Zaka 2 half cannon. Uh, and the gym ground type weapons rack. I wouldn't mind a low cost mobile suit like that. Uh, down lower and lower cost because you know you got so many other good suits in that cost why not add the gym ground type uh, my Zaku to half cannon though but that was my baby in the first game once they released it I was so fucking happy oh man I squealed like a little girl most of the Friday Fight Night crew didn't like it because I, I kept bringing that into a high cost room and I was just uh having a good old time hell I was kind of pooping on uh GPO units with it you know I'd set up that Gatlin gun I don't know if it's still on Rob's channel. I don't know. Like, I took that Zakuto half cannon out in a video, in one of their videos, and it was when Lordy was still doing YouTube, and I hope he does come back. I really do miss his content. He was a great, great YouTuber, and I'm kind of hope. I kind of wish he didn't delete his channel. It really upsets me he did, because I'd go back and watch some of the, uh, his content. Uh, he had this one where he was doing dual commentary with, uh, Lord. Lord Robert, and uh, you see me hucker down next to Lordy with my uh, Zaka 2 half cannon and just shred into a uh, shred into a GPO unit, and it was doing some decent damage. But anywho, yeah, my thoughts on the uh, Barzam, it's good. It's really decent. I like it. Uh, a little weak on the melee, but it's otherwise uh, a good mobile suit. It's a nice addition to the game. So let's take a look at the Patreons. We have Brandon Markey, OA Shipper, Asriel, Caden Maki, Casey, Crazy App, Cy Bastard, Dragon Spartan 90, Gundam Knuckers, Ibram Gaunt 88, 63, Jeff Dunn, JJ, Clav, Proof, Maverick, Momoka, Ninja Guy 12, Peter Strike, Tyler, Spud, and Omni Savage. I hope you guys have a good day and I shall talk to you guys later.